Yo, what's up, everyone? This is uh, Gabriel Santos from gfsantos.com. Sorry if it's all blurry. It's uh, I just woke up. It's like 6.30 a.m. or it's 7 a.m. here uh, here in uh, California. Yeah, but as the title states in this video, um, this is going to be about what to do uh, if it's your first day quitting weed. Like what to do, how to get through this, uh, tips, tricks, uh, things that help me, uh, things to expect, right? Um, things that might have you fail, so to speak, okay? So um, first off, first off, good shit, okay? Good shit. Uh, it's your first day, either it's your first day or you're about to you know, go on this journey for yourself and it'll be your first day sometime soon. Um, and so good shit, you know, like this is clearly there's something about the way you're using weed that is not supporting the way that you want to be living your life. OK, so whether you're taking a break for a little bit or you're quitting for a lifetime, um, I acknowledge that you are doing this to better your life. OK, um, and so I think what I want to focus on this video to keep it concise at least is um, some of the things to expect that have people fail, okay? Um, actually, no. I want to give one tip real quick first to, to help you leverage your ability to succeed. S spend your time on day one with other people. Like, like ideally with someone who, who lights you up, who loves you unconditionally, or pretty close to that, um, someone who you can confide in, meaning someone you can feel comfortable sharing um, some of the things you're going through on that first day, whether it's, and, and ideally someone who doesn't make weed wrong, and someone who understands where you're coming from, um, and, and will hold you accountable to not smoking on day one, because uh, cause what you're going to experience uh, possibly and probably uh, especially if this is the first time you've you've gone a day without smoking in years is that your body and brain and emotions and spirit are going to tell you and make you feel all kinds of things that that only smoking weed will feel like like will quiet down you know what I'm saying? Like, like you're, you're like, don't be surprised if at some point during the day on that first day that you're quitting or taking a break that you literally like, you feel you all like, that's all you can think about. Like, that's all you can think about. That's, that's all your mind can focus on. And, and like, you're having a hard time. Okay. So don't feel bad. Don't feel like you're broken. Don't feel like, this is an issue if if all you can think about is smoking weed and if you're sad or depressed or angry or you know anything that that isn't happy like that expect it expect it and at the same time if you do want to be happy and you don't want to be depressed and sad and just thinking about weed and how you can't do it um have a game plan have a game plan um you know um, another practical piece of advice is, um, so weed, smoking weed as an activity, as an action, uh, satisfies a human need of yours. There are six human needs, um, the need for certainty, the need for variety or uncertainty, um, love and connection, significance, growth and contribution. Okay. And smoking weed in some fashion satisfies one of those needs, if not all of those needs for you. And so to have yourself be filled up and not deprived, but not use weed to fill you up, um, figure out of which one of those six human needs that smoking weed uh, solves for you. For me, it was honestly, it was love and connection probably was the biggest one and then certainty, and then uncertainty, and significance, like, like, and sometimes growth, and so, you know, like, for example, if it was love and, love and connection, you know, if you like video games, play video games all day, like, who cares, you know, like, if, or, or if it was significance, I don't know, post on social media that you're quitting, 
um, if if it was certainty, um, watch watch a TV show that that you know for certain is gonna make you funny and relax, or go get a massage, or go read a book, or go to a theme park, or I don't know, like like some right, some some to fill the void that that smoking or not smoking will certainly open up. Because if you're someone who smoked weed for five years every day and you decide that, you know, you're not going to smoke, there's just going to be this like huge blank space in your calendar, in your life, in your mind, in your emotional daily process that like that only weed will seemingly fill. But you got to fill it with something else. You got to fill it with something else that will bring you something similar that weed would bring you. Okay. Like I said, um, so yeah. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, I've had a number of people messaging me lately who are, you know, just starting their journey of either like reducing the amount they smoke or they're quitting. And, um, I, I've, I've had so many day ones <laughs> in my, in my journey, so many day ones and so many, day like I fucked up and everything goes backwards days um so I understand like I understand how on sometimes you'd be so motivated and there's not an issue and then some days you lack all motivation and you can't do shit and it's on those days when we go back on our word it's on those days that um we we do things even though we said just the night before that we were gonna change everything um and so I'm here for you. Um, if you haven't already, buy the book Marijuana Mindfulness on Amazon. It's only three dollars. Um, if you can't afford that, or if you if you're not really want it, if you don't like reading, uh, message me. I'll see if I can if, if there's another way, or, or comment down below with another way that you wish that you could uh, get more of this information and more support and more empowerment around your journey uh, in terms of weed whether you want to quit whether you want to take a break whether you want to have more self-control um, and overall just really what you want and how I can be of support to you uh, both in free ways by making videos and in paid ways by either creating a new product or creating a new service um, and in the ch in the case in the in the circumstance that you're someone who wants to work with me personally, who wants to work with me one-on-one -on -one and dive deep and or pick my brain or just have me use my my uh, my professional trained skills to help uncover some blind spots and help empower you so that you can ultimately have what you want in your life whether it's a certain result like getting more money or losing weight or or quitting weed or something internal like having more confidence or having more self-control having more certainty having more love anything really um because that is my job i am a uh, certified professional life coach i work with currently eight clients uh soon to be 11 clients um, ranging from, from all kinds of ages, from as young as uh, 22 to as old as uh, 35. Actually, I'm going to be working with someone who is uh, over 50, 50 years old soon. Um, and it's really not about the age. Uh, life coaching is something that is a skill. It's a skill. And if you have a coach who's 75 and they don't, they're not that good with their life coaching skills, well, you're your you may not see your results whereas you might work with someone who's 18 if they have the life coaching skills uh the process to bring you through then then you might get the results and vice versa and definitely life experience has a part to play and when it comes to marijuana addiction marijuana dependency marijuana as a crutch and ultimately marijuana as a tool i definitely have all the experience and i have the success to back that up um so yeah that offers out to you always, um, at least at the time of making this video. I wish you well on your journey if it's your day one. Um, like I said, just do whatever you got to do to to get through this day. And I highly recommend you spend it with people. Spend it with people who love you. Spend it with people who will listen to you. Spend it with people who are going to support you and hold you accountable 
to getting through this day and to getting through this journey that you're on. All right, guys, Gabriel Santos, gfsantos.com. Peace.